hi guys. Um, this is for my friend. Um, I hope I'm gonna say your name right. Um, Regiland, Reginald Chen. All right. Um, yeah, I forgot to do the Faraday's law homework problems. But here's the first one. I'm at McDonald's now, so you might hear the music or somebody came in and out. So don't worry about it. Um, anyway, so this problem is the time dependent current in wire. Okay. So um, this graph is for the current and time. And this is actually just the wire here. Okay. And this is um, the distance x okay and what else do I need to tell you um, yeah that's it so the first question is asking us um, what is the flux through the loop at time equal 12 so if you notice here um, he gave me the time specific time okay so at specific time I know this current and they gave it to me on the graph you can see it on the graph it's right here okay um, yeah so let's see the flux the equation for the flux is equal to delta B dot DA okay it's always like that for the flux but this is for the magnetic flux Okay. All right. So, what is the magnetic? Um, what what is the magnetic field from the wire? Well, let's use the. Is that guy's law? DL equal mu i. Okay. This is also I think. No, this is another flux. Okay. So then we'll use B equal mu i divided by two pi x. The DL here is we make um, the surface, so it's like here's the um, the wire. We put my finger, my thumb with it, and then curl my fingers. Okay, that's the direction of the magnetic field on on this guy here on this loop. Okay, so it's going axis here. <coughs> okay, so let's put this guy here. So, magnetic flux will be the integral of ui divided by 2 pi x dA. Okay, so we need to t change the dA in terms of x, okay? Because it's easier, I think. Okay, so if you look, look at here, a simple dA like let's say this is da the whole thing like it should be small very small but it's the same as the x times the um, the w which is the width so this small dx and the width here okay can you see that yeah so yeah we can change the da da to um, to w times dx got it all right so from here we go and say that the flux will be equal to the integral of mu i divided by 2 pi and then it's going to be let me get the x over x okay so now let's integrate this guy so the this 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 are constant and I can say that the current here is constant because they said at what time they want it, okay? They said at the time equal whatever it was, okay? They, um, they gave you the time, okay? So the flux has a value at that time. Okay, um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, so, so mu i w divided by 2 pi and when you integrate this guy here dx over x you'll get ln x okay cool and then 
um, I forgot the integration. The integration will be from, you can see from D, this distance from here to here, to D plus L to here. To D plus L. Okay? So to D, D plus L. So it's gonna look like U, I divided by 2 pi, and then don't forget the W, L divided by the um, divided by the what was it d plus l divided by d okay the i is the one that they gave us here and we have the w which is the width of the um, yeah the width the width or the height the height and we have all these okay so you'll get a value for this flux, cool. And mine was the um, 10.71 times 10 to negative seven. Okay, this is Tesla per meter square. Cool. All right. So question number two is asking, um, what is the um, EMF? So V1 be EMF, and if you look at the formula sheet, EMF will be negative d phi divided by dt. Okay, all right. So the the um uh, what does it call the phi? The flux here is the same as the one before. Okay, so let's use this, which is. The, this result here, which is u i omega divided by 2 pi ln d plus l divided by d, okay? But this time we need to differentiate this with respect to time, okay? Because d phi is with respect to time now, so we're gonna do d over dt, okay? All of them is constant but the i right because it's the question time dependent current right so when you differentiate the whole thing you're only going to differentiate the i here because it's with respect to the time okay so the result will be for this is u w 2 pi ln d plus l divided by d and then um, Let's differentiate this i differentiated with respect to time is just di divided by dt, right? And di dt is simply just the slope, the slope of this guy here, okay? So we're looking at, um, what is it? At time equals zero, time equals six, which is around here, which is this slope here, right? So we're looking at the di dt of this slope here. And you can find it by simply um, take two points, any two points, and I took this one here, this and this, because we know them, which is we know that the i, which is 4.4, this is my max here, divided by the total time here, which is 12. Cool. <coughs> so this guy will be multiplied by what you get here. Which is, you know, which is, I think, it's the same as here, but take the i. Just put the i dt for this guy here. Cool? And don't forget the negative, because it's in the equation already, in the negative sign. And for me, I got um, negative 3.95 times 10 to the negative 8 volts. Cool? Alright, let's go to number 3. Number three is, um, what is the EMF induced at time equal 14, four, well, four, 14, 14, 14. So at time equal 14 is gonna be around here, somewhere here. Okay, which means that the, um, the slope, when you do the same thing here, when you do a slope for, um, for a line like this, it'll, it'll be zero, right? So that's why the EMF induced will be zero because there is no change in flux. Um, let me say it first. Um, 
there's no change in current, which leads to no change in flux, okay? Because the flux depend on the current, as we saw here, okay? So change and no change in current, then, then that means that there's no change in flux, which means there's no induced EMF, cool? Okay, so this is three, let's go to number four. Number four is saying, uh, what is the direction of the induced current on the loop at time equal 21.5? So, if you look at it here, so let's, you know, let's look at it from the beginning here. As we were increasing in current, well, what's happening to this guy here? As we increase in current, we ha we're having more axes. The magnetic field is pointing into the screen because our thumb with the current and then our uh, the other fingers will curl into the where we want the magnetic field which at this case it's showing it's going axis into the screen so as the current is increasing the axis is getting like the magnetic field in the um, let's call it the minus z direction is increasing so the the loop doesn't like that he doesn't like this change that's why he's going to induce an EMF that opposes this um, this increase in axis, which means that it's gonna in, which gonna um, um, it's gonna make a current that is um, where it's gonna go. It's gonna go this way or this way. What do you think? So in this case, it's going to go the opposite, which is going to go clockwise and going up. This is if, if they ask about um, the direction of the current, if it was like a time equal between 0 and 12, okay? Right, between this, like this slope for this slope. It's going to be um, going up. We're going we're gonna to need more dots, okay? Dots, which, which means that uh, magnetic field in the... Um, going up okay but in this case it's going down so it's losing axes right but it doesn't like this change so it's gonna make more axes which is clockwise our fingers curl with the loop and then my thumb is pointing into the screen which I need more axes I don't know if that makes sense man okay so it's gonna be clockwise um, Let's go number five. Number five, um, what is the EMF induced at time equal to 3.75? So at time equal three is around like, it's on this slope. So we're gonna do the same thing. We have the phi, so we're using this minus the phi over dt, okay? So we're using the same equation, ui omega over two pi, ln d plus l over d okay and we're differentiated this with respect to time and we're doing the same thing which is i so we're using the same formula here formula 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 whatever man uh formula yeah i got it formula okay and but the only difference will be here is just the uh the di over dt right because it's going down, so the slope will be negative, which means that the the EMF will be positive because negative with negative will be positive. And anyway, the question they said that if the induced current is um, clockwise, that means it's positive, which is clockwise here. It's going to be positive, as we just said. It's going down. It's going to lose axes, which doesn't like that so it's gonna make axes by making current going clockwise so the magnetic field will be pointing into the screen right so we're doing the same equation we're just changing the di over dt okay and just find a couple points here and find the um the slope at this case okay all right man hope this helped uh, best of luck